Moscow troops fighting the ongoing Kiev counteroffensive suffered their highest losses since the height of the battle to destroy the Ukrainian city of Bakhmut earlier this year. Both Russian and Ukrainian forces suffered heavy casualties as Kiev retook Moscow-held areas along the front. Although Russian forces have maintained relatively effective defenses in the south of the country, the Kremlin's losses are likely the highest since the height of the Bakhmut battle in March. Ukrainian troops began their long-anticipated counteroffensive earlier this month and are making reported advances along the southern and eastern fronts. Over the past 24 hours, Ukraine's defense ministry said significant Russian forces have been destroyed on the front lines. According to official data, 33 tanks, 30 infantry fighting vehicles, and 35 armored fighting vehicles AFV, for a total of 98 armored vehicles, were destroyed. The data show that the Ukrainian armed forces are successfully conducting combat operations at the front, using force and efficiency in the fight against the Russian army. In the current conflict, the effectiveness of combat operations is a key factor. The heavy losses of Russian troops and equipment testify to the well-coordinated work of the Ukrainian armed forces at the front, which is an indicator of their combat capability and strategic advantage. In light of these developments, it should be noted that superiority in weapons and equipment is a determining factor in any armed conflict. Ukrainian Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Malier said Russian troops had also suffered significant personnel losses over the past seven days. In the past week, more than 4,600 Russian troops have been killed or injured. According to the General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Russia has also lost 220,450 troops to date, including 630 in the previous 24 hours. According to Russian media, today, the armed forces of Ukraine tried to break through the defense with the help of the mobile armored group of the Territorial Defense Forces moving from Chervonea Dibrova. The information comes from an official source, who claims that the troops were able to repel the attack thanks to strong infantry defense and artillery support, which helped push back the Ukrainian troops. Another battle took place in the Kuzmino area. The Ukrainian military from the 67th Separate Mechanized Brigade, without the support of armored vehicles, attempted to capture one of the strongholds of the armed forces of the Russian Federation. For two hours, gunfight was exchanged, as a result of which both sides suffered several personnel losses. It is also known that a group of three infantry fighting vehicles, IFV, from the same 67th Separate Mechanized Brigade attempted to make a jump to the Russian fortifications. Nevertheless, thanks to the actions of the scouts, the enemy was detected and destroyed in a timely manner. One of the BMPs was captured. The fighting continued in the Novonikolsky area, where the high Mars shells of the Ukrainian troops were shot down with the help of air defense systems. In addition, in the Serbryansky forestry region, the movement of personnel of the 67th Separate Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine was revealed. With the help of Army aviation and artillery, this column was destroyed. <laughs> 